Okay? This is what I've always wanted. Since 1996, and we've had all these freaking mild winters. September has since then always been a real shitty month. Hurricanes. Very unpleasantly Indian summerish. But now, and the winters before then were nice and cold and chilly. It started in September. September used to be a lovely month. Cool. Bluesily so. The kind of weather that made me cry. But I was also with the, like that blues music. You love it makes you cry, but you love it. As summer was over, everything was winding down. You were going back to school. I wouldn't get to see Sissy at the pizza as much as I had because now I had to go to school and couldn't work as much as I wanted. But anyways. Or like the time on this trail way back there at the beginning, me and my cousin, that I think February 89, I think it was February, when, was, when we had an ice storm, we were rolling through the a wall of briars, creating trails in the briars because they were so brittle. Now, it's starting to get, I'm starting to get those winters off. Well, here it is, not even 4 o'clock, and I, it is cold. I got my, another coat up there at the trail. Because I gotta wear two coats with this heavy coat, one heavy coat right here, and these ear mugs, these ear, and this to cover what covers my ear. I love it. <laughs> it's just what I wanted so badly. I pray the Lord it keeps up. There's only one thing missing. The church at the end of this trail is no longer here, so these trails have lost their meaning. Because they used to come out to the end, they were over a mile long. They had a definite beginning and they had a definite end. The church it, that used to be at the end of this trail. St. Peter's Free Will Baptist Church. I talked to the pastor told me, look, you can come here anytime you want and just be alone with God. Because the chef's deputies had wanted to arrest me because I was there one night with my green police lights flashing and they they had a break in early, I was told. So they hadn't get written permission from the pastor and I read and registered it and no problem in after that. Man, if I could ever make the make it as a rapper, make the big money I need, get my long arm. Eat, look, I want to build the church back over there. I'd pay them to move that full lane highway back further if I had to. But right now, even if I didn't have the long arms, the good looks, what do you mean if I didn't? I don't. And look, you know, you know I can't bear thinking about it. If I had the church in this trail, it'd make my life even more happier, a lot happier and less stressful. Why did the Department of Transportation have to tear down the church? Why couldn't they build the f frickin' Fallen Howard just a little bit that way? Greedy fucking birds. I would almost hope they die of prostate cancer, but I'm not gonna hope that because God would be mad if I wish that on anybody. But why can't the church be at the end of this trail? Why? Why? My trails have lost their meaning. It's, it's drudgery now to keep cutting them back because there's no meaning to these trails anymore. Like they used to be. Right there is where the church once stood. St. Peter's Free Will Baptist Church on Benjamin Franklin Road. That beyond there was a dirt road. Now it's a four lane highway. My trail used to end right there and go back all the way, more than a mile long, all the way to the house, the last house that did the rail fence drive, and the two locations are one at the end of Farmgate, a carriage road at the end of Farmgate Road, carriage lane, and the other to some paths that took you back to Farmgate Road. Man, now because I tore the church down, I had to extend the trail that way about... 300 feet extra work man I wish they could rebuild the church right here and here's what the church looked like there's the four lane highway it used to be a dirt road 
here's where the trail's in now. Right there. Man. Maybe they can build a church right here or something right here so my trails can have meaning again. Come to an end. But till then. And you can see the four lane right there. That used to be a nice dirt road. I hope the Global Transport chokes on its own vomit for this. I do. Unless they can rebuild the, the church at the original end of the trail. I hope the Global Transport chokes on its own vomit. This shit. Well, bye-bye for the day, Trails. Yeah, all this used to be nice flat. Till the fucking little trash park made that hill right there. And now... In the winter time, this place floods like a fucking swamp. It used to be dry as a fucking bone. <laughs> fucking global transport. I hope they. God bless it. All this right here was flat. And here's my bike. There's a four lane highway. I'm gonna go that way. All this used to be a fucking dirt road. And the church used to be over there. There. Yeah. Right there was the church, and all this was flatland. Had a guest. Peter had some live oaks in the yard. This is all a dirt road. There was the trail with the woods. Look at that shit over there. I hope the Global Transport chokes in its own fucking vomit. It should be all country. This used to be a back in the sticks dirt road. That goddamn global transport fucked it up. Fuck them. Look at all this shit. I think it fucking sucks that tree died right there. It knew the global transport was coming. So it said, fuck that, I'm getting out of here, I'm going to heaven. <laughs> See all that shit right there was a few years back woods. The only hope I can gather is that I don't go back any further because one of my other extensive trails is right back there. Maybe they'll build some shopping centers so that my church still has some more meaning. Come out to a shopping center too. At the other end of the trails. <laughs>
Woo! And there beyond that is Fongate Road. The house is the Fongate Road. Oh, dear God, I wish I could live on 14 Fongate Road again. With all the trees. <clears throat> There's a church. But it's on the other side of the road, not the same side of the road as the woods. And this is closer to the beginning of the trails than the end of the trails. And when you look at the trails from above the sky, they're like one contorted for a massive Y. <laughs> This is the church, St. Peter's Free Will Baptist Church, or formerly St. Peter's Free Will Baptist Church. My trails, over a mile long, took me from the neighborhood at Farmgate Road, from the behind the house at the end of Manchester Road. To all the way to this church. This gave my trails meaning. They had a definite starting point and they came out to something special, a special place. Why in 2001 did the Department of Transportation have to, have to go and raise this church to the ground and turn this wonderful place? It's a swampland. Why couldn't? Why in the hell couldn't they move that damn four-lane highway a hundred feet further northwest, or north, and spared this church? The pastor had told me I could come out at night anytime I wanted to and just be alone with God out here. Why they had to tear down this church? In the front porch, someone had written, uh, carved a date into the cement when it was drying. 1976. I forget the date. I think the month was May. Now I remember at that time I was in kindergarten. Miss Corbett's class. Why do they, do they have the... Why can't this church be rebuilt here? And now, with this fucking fatiguing feeling, feeling I, I want to pass out every time I do anything slightly strenuous, even when I take my lorazepam, man, how am I going to keep up keep these trails? I, I'm sorry. If it kills me, I'm going to have to find a way to keep these trails alive and well. But alas, with no church at the end of the trails, it all it's pointless, meaningless. And yet like a wounded animal like an animal that has had his legs and his arms chopped off still wants to live. So do I want these trails to go on. Maybe if I can make enough money as a rapper, maybe I could pull some strings buy the land, pay to have that four-lane highway moved out a hundred feet and rebuild that church there. <sighs> Don't think it's going to happen.